Every single day, large amounts of new data are produced. All sorts of everyday processes have become digital and thereby the tools necessary for their completion are digital now too. Even the humanities have undergone a digital turn. Historical sources are digitized, but who handles such processes? And how can one learn to do that professionally? In the master's degree program, Digital Humanities, students can learn what advantages the uses of digital tools can have for the humanities and how they are developed. The technical advances of the last decades have led to the creation of a new research paradigm in the humanities. The digital humanities operate at the intersection of humanities and computer or information science. The usage of digital methods offers new ways of analysis of historical sources and changes approaches within humanities scholarship. The teaching modules contain, for example, basic knowledge of computer science, subject-specific approaches relating to the fields in which students have obtained their bachelor's degrees, data formats, data standards, web technologies, databases, programming languages, and visualization techniques. Among other things, data formalization according to the principles of information science, data modeling, analysis, transformation, Processing, administration and long-term archiving of humanities data are considered in depth. Data processing using the so-called X technologies revolving around the XML data format are a key application in many areas of the digital humanities. But the digital humanities are much more than that. Tasks usually considered as parts of digital humanities jobs include the creation of data. In the example, you can see the transcriber software being used for the automated machine transcription of historical print. Secondly, the presentation of data is shown on projects from the GAMPS infrastructure, where web views are generated from XML data. Thirdly, preservation and long-term archiving of data, for example by using appropriate data formats such as XML, but also the analysis of data like, for example, quantitative text analysis. The master's program is geared towards students with a bachelor's degree in any discipline in the humanities who want to add practical tools and methods for digital analysis to the knowledge from their previous bachelor's degree. Apart from some general computer literacy, no specific technical knowledge is required as a prerequisite for enrolling in this master's program. Being generally comfortable around computers is advantageous, however. Many students ask us how technologically adept you need to be to thrive in this program. Here you should keep in mind that the goal is to learn digital tools for humanities applications. The study program covers a wide range of topics from data modeling in XML and XML data standards, web design in HTML, CSS and JavaScript, or even research software engineering in Python or Java. Students are free to choose which side of the spectrum they want to specialize in. However, students will have to learn the basics in all of these areas, which are core elements of the DH. In this example, you can see how the text of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein is downloaded programmatically from Project Gutenberg and a few simple operations of quantitative text analysis are carried out. Cooperation with and communication between technology and less technologically adept users is an important part of the age work. Programming and understanding the technical backgrounds behind digital applications are also inevitable, at least up to a certain degree. Should you desire to do so, you can specialize in this as well. Digital humanities graduates can apply to jobs in a university context, may that be digital humanities centers or in the context of traditional humanities scholarship, other fields are the conceptualization, dissemination and implementation of digital humanities projects, science communication with a focus on digital cultural heritage, but also in archives or museums. Scholars work both on the digitization of historical objects as well as their scholarly interpretation. The combination of humanities and computer science can also lead to positions in the creative industry, in media companies, in data processing as well as in communication. For students completing their master's degree within six semesters, that is the regular four-semester duration of the master's, 
plus two semesters of tolerance towards possible delays, there are no tuition fees for the master's program.